Okay. So in continuation with the Unix shell scripting series, uh, I'm going to discuss few more concept uh, in continuation. So last video, we were discussing about the test condition. So there are two, uh, two ways we can use the test expression. Uh, one is uh, using the keyword test, and one is the round bracket. So in the keyword test, uh, we are specifying if test, you know, in the backtick, we are specifying grab dollar user etc password and backtick closed. Okay. If this, uh, what is this? this is a command substitution. So, you know, this is actually a one more command. Okay. So if this gives the, you know, the result as zero or one, depending on that, the test will be evaluated. Okay. If test is, if user is found in password file, then test is, you know, successful. It gives the, uh, okay. It is true. Then we will say that grab user and it is the password. Okay. Okay, then uh, I'll say we are testing it in the group file. If it is found in the group file, then grab the group file name. Okay, else echo invalid username. Okay, so similarly, uh, this is for file uh, testing, file or directory, and then we have a numeric test. If you have to test the numeric values, right? Then there is an equal to hyphen eq hyphen n e hyphen l t hyphen l e hyphen z t hyphen g e. So these are different, uh, different uh, you know, options to evaluate the numeric test expression. Then for the boolean uh, values, we have hyphen o for logical or hyphen a for logical and an exclamation mark for logical not. Okay, so we will just quickly go ahead and uh, apply this in the one of the script so we want to calculate the bonus then you know enter the salary read the salary if the salary is less than equal to thousand you know and then bonus is thousand else if, if salary is greater than thousand and less than you know ten thousand then bonus is ten thousand else bonus is hundred thousand okay and then print the bonus so this is a small script using you know test evaluation expression and then now uh, for the string you know for character value check right we want to check the correct equality not equality zero length every string of zero length we have a non-zero length string so these are the you know options for that so we are accepting the user in this script and we will check the user if it is a user is zero length if they, if they have not just entered it they, we ask for it a username and they, they did not supply and they just the enter and then we will see the the length is zero then you know you, you haven't entered a name if user is root equal to root then we will say this is a super user you know it's a root user otherwise we will see you know we will just print the user name and uh, for file testing we will have different options hyphen f file exists in this ordinary file ordinary file in the sense of this can you know simple file it's not a directory. Directory is also a file. And, but if for, for directory check, we have hyphen D. Hyphen is file exists and has a size greater than zero. Okay. Hyphen R is file exists and is readable. Hyphen W is file exists and is writable. If hyphen X is file exists and is executable. So these are the permissions for that file. Okay. So let's go ahead and you know create one small program, copy program. So what it says that enter the source file, read the source file. If file is a you know size zero, then we will say invalid input, you know, because it's empty file you first or and exit the script. Okay. Uh, enter the destination file, read the file, and if it is a destination is also zero, then we'll say invalid input again. And then exit with the another status. Then we will keep in capture the status, you know, in ongoing script, you know, in larger script, right? So this uh, program will just to check the uh, zero length file. Uh, now go ahead and, uh, in continuation with the uh, first one only. So uh, copy program, right? We were doing. So this is uh, another uh, if statement. If both are not zero, right? Then if uh, dollar uh, SF is file and or is also a file then cp else invalid source file okay 
if the, both conditions are not spelled, if one of those are directory, right? Readable, if, you know, if any of uh, condition is not satisfying in, you know, if statement here, if it is not a file or if it is not readable, then, you know, you cannot copy. So, so that sense, you know, say invalid source where we need to exit from the script. Similarly, uh, the while loop, you know, we will just uh, in the if statement earlier, right? If and then, you know, if can be uh, checked, you know, if expression can be you know, applied in test and you don't break the expression, okay? So now we will go ahead and see the while loop. So the while loop is, uh, you know, it executes until the condition satisfies. So it's a simple concept. Uh, as in any other programming language. So ensure that a user types in a name from the keyword. So it will keep on executing until the any name is typed. Okay, flag will take the you know temporary value of flag while flag is not equal to one, then do repeat the uh, repeat the following statements. So you could enter name, read the name, if, you know if name is you know zero length then we'll say name is not just print the name you know else echo hello but name and we will flag will make it zero and then we will come out from the loop because user has entered the proper name other we will keep on executing this is a simple while loop construct so simple script using the while loop now there is a break statement break is to you know come out from the program must exist in a loop the loop it's a part of loop if it's in uh, on certain condition if you want to you know exit from the loop then we'll just specify break so executing a break takes the control out of while loop and signifies the number of enclosing whiles if there are to be executed if there are you know um, there are many loops or loop inside loop nested loops then you know then we need to specify some number where to go, you know, after the break statement executes, right? Continue is to continue the loop. Must exist in a loop. Executing a continue text can control to next iteration and signifies where the next iteration is to be resumed. So if it's a nested loop, then from where it needs to be, uh, you know, continue. You know? Let's say we are in the third depth or we want to continue from the second again. Or probably from the first, we just need to continue. See three, then we'll go just out. Uh, I mean, uh, continue two in the sense it'll go into the second loop, or continue one. You know, it will go into the first loop and then continues the same. Now, using break, we'll uh, do some you know simple construct programming constructs. So let's have a you know. Uh, simple script and we are accepting the name if name is not zero if it is zero then break if it is zero then we'll keep on accepting the name from using the terminal otherwise if user has supplied the perfect uh, you know name then we'll just break out so find the total cell in the file emp that is another you know um, we'll use uh, you know some of the construct earlier concept and we'll find out the salary just what we need to do is for all those three uh, four records or whatever noun records from this file we just need to end total salary first we need to uh, you know read this file and then one by one we can you know add upon those 100 200 300 200 right so let's see how we are doing so find the sum of salary in the emp so how it is defined is in line number one number of lines is cat emp wcl so in our case there are four lines then sum is zero and right so in while loop there is a square bracket condition while number of lines is not equal to zero until we go to the end of the file meaning okay do salary how we are doing the salary l plus line number okay plus in the sense of We will use the combination of tail and head you know, to cut the cut the record and then cut command for you know extracting the particular field. So using this entire expression, 
what it will come is 100 will come for the first record okay then sum x we are dollar sum plus salary sum is zero for first time and then you know it will keep on adding so line number what will happen with the line number then x we are line number plus one so line number will be incremented in the second iteration so number of lines will be x square number of lines minus one so number of total number of lines will keep on decreasing one by one but line number will be keep on increasing and we, so use, uh, doing that we can have a sum so whenever the number of lines not equal to become zero then we will come out and then we will have sum okay this is a simple example okay program to reverse string okay so let's so these are some simple programs using the unix script so what we can do is we can just calculate the length of the string expr length string so the length is another uh, command okay so that expression will be uh, assigned to length okay we know this is the command substitution right so so we until the length is zero then what we can do is letter echo star cut hyphen length okay then reverse dollar i dollar letter so we will create one another string and we will keep on adding you know, dollar i dollar letter okay we will just go to the end of the you know string and then you know keep on adding so len x we are dollar n minus one so length we are going to reduce in particular iteration one by one and then that so until the length you know becomes zero we will keep on doing this okay we go dollar i so similarly uh, we will have some few more now so now again um, you know again we will have a file copy program right so what we can do is uh, so my copy is a you know directory name and file we can pass one file or any number of files so what we can do is we need to copy the file from input passed as a command line argument we can we need to copy the files okay if dollar has less than two okay if there are less than two then you know invalid number of our parameters because we don't have directory we don't have file or either we have a file or directory so those are not useful right so we will be going to exit if not equal to if it is not directory first argument is not a directory then also there is a problem so let's go ahead okay and then if it is not equal to zero then what we can do is as the parameter is not equal to zero then do uh, if it is first parameter is uh, you know file and readable then what we can do is copy or run to the directory okay so this is dollar zero directory name this is dollar one is the file okay so same let's cannot copy and do directory and then shift we are going to shift it and we will do the while loop one by one okay we will copy all the files into the directory the first parameter is direct and then followed by file names okay and then we have a variety of copy from that copies the ordinary file to directory files you know So similarly, we have until loop actually, until the condition satisfies, there is no big difference actually. Okay, so just to construct is different in the loop. And until this one is there, then do if it is a file, you know, go to the file, then Elizabeth directory, then you know, assign the directory and the shift. Okay. And then for in the directory we will consider the for dir and cat directory all the files for dir in cat directory this is a for loop constructor okay so until dir is there in the cat directory then do what for all the files in cat file do copy from file to directory okay so these are similar you know construct until loop you know until command then do statement execute loop until user inputs and okay so mm -hmm. 
so let's uh, have a no, for loop so we we'll discuss the for loop for variable in word list do this statement done done okay display pen paper and pencil for name in pen paper you cancel then echo so all the three values will be printed okay display the names of files in the current directory so for file name in star then do echo file name star will have you know all the list okay then display the command line parameter for input in dollar star then do equal input dollar star is the contains all parameters okay so with that i'm going to end the this part of video i mean this video and uh, we will have another video for rest of the uh, scripting concepts okay thank you so much